Hi, my name is Sasha Graham, and I am the creator of the Tarot of the Haunted House, which was released by Los Carabeo and illustrated by Mirko Pirafedovici, uh, I think back in 2017 or 2018. And so many people have uh, reached out and asked for a more comprehensive guidebook explaining the deck. And because it just right now, it only comes to the little white book. Um, and it's just not in the cards for me to um, actually write a detailed companion book. So I thought it would be better um, or easier uh, for fans or of the deck and people who are using the deck. If I just make a series of videos explaining to you um, my thought process behind the cards, how the deck came to be, but more importantly, how you can use this particular deck, Tarot of the Haunted House, for yourself. Um, so yeah, so the way I'm gonna organize this is the video you're watching right now is just going to be kind of an explanation of the process of making the deck, why a haunted house is such a phenomenal uh, metaphor for the self and uh, just a little bit of information just in general about the deck. And then in the forthcoming videos, you're gonna find uh, one video for each of the suits and then a video for the major arcana as well. So that uh, if you're interested in this deck and wanna know more, um, you should be able to find out absolutely everything that I could ever possibly tell you uh, about how to use this deck um, and where and why it came from. So uh, let's just start at the beginning. Um, my Italian editor, uh, Riccardo Minetti at Los Garibaldi had, had said that I should create a tarot deck. And I'm not an artist, I'm a writer. And I said, and I also was like, Riccardo, there's a million tarot decks out there in the world. The world doesn't need another tarot. And he looked at me for, I guess we were emailing each other, so he didn't look at me. Maybe we were together though in Italy. Anyway, he, he said to me, Sasha, it is one thing to read the tarot, right? And read the arcana when it is in front of you. But it is something much different. When the, ar the arcana springs from inside your soul, you must make a deck. I, who can argue with that, right? I wanted to feel that. I wanted the arcana to spring from my soul. Uh, so, so I started thinking, well, okay. And he said, you know, he had said that for a lot of writers who aren't artists, um, if you make a tarot deck, or at least this has been my path, what you do is you come up for a concept for a deck, and then you literally describe each and every card. It's like writing a script for a movie. Um, you describe each and every card in detail. You create the entire universe in your imagination, um, and you hire an artist to fulfill your vision. And so my first job was to figure out, okay, well, if I was going to make a tarot deck, what would it be? What world would it be in? Um, and I love horror and I love romance. And I had at the time been collecting these 1960s and 70s uh, gothic romance novels that have the woman running away, like a beautiful woman in a gown running away from a castle or a mansion. Um, and I just, I wasn't even reading the books, but I love the artwork and I love the idea because one of my favorite films as a kid was The Legacy with Catherine Ross and Sam Neill. Uh, I was terrified of that film, but I also loved it. And so I love, love, love the idea of not only exploring haunted houses, but also when I started thinking about why I was collecting these, it became rapidly apparent that, and I've always been kind of obsessed with houses and homes, um, because they really are an extension of who we are as, as humans, right? So if you want to get a look inside of somebody's mind, look inside their house. <laughs> You'll find out a lot of information, probably even more than if you were to read their tarot cards. Um, and so this idea of, especially at a time when feminism um, was moving forward in the 60s and the 70s, women were finding their autonomy, they were getting divorced, they were hitting the workplace um, uh, and struggling to kind of find their place, their voice, their power in the world. Um, how appropriate 
that in most of these novels and even in haunted house movies, uh, you would find a young woman being summoned or brought to a spooky house full of mysteries and, and dangerous romance. And then by the end of the book or the movie, she owns the house, right? And so I thought, wow, that's a tarot deck. The beginning is the woman running away from the haunted house, terrified of what's inside and the world card. The finale would be her owning the house, representing the fool's journey in the sense that um, you enter into a new experience and then you face your fears. And by the time that you've confronted um, your greatest challenges and the spooky dark parts, not only of the world, but of your own psyche, then you can come to terms with who it is and find complete ownership on who you are. So I just thought this made a fantastic idea for a tarot deck. And plus it's super visual and I love the artwork. It's super cozy. These book are, books are like, you know, talismans uh, to a child, you know, your childhood, if, if you happen to be around spooky things when you were a kid. So, uh, so yeah, so I mentioned the idea. They said, absolutely. I created a proposal. Um, they said, yes. And then we went off in search of an artist. So that is how the tarot of the haunted house came to be. Now inside the deck, you will find all of the traditional tropes from uh, horror, from references to movies like The Shining, to uh, experiences like the theatrical performance Sleep No More that's been happening here at Immersive Theater here in New York City, I think for over a decade now. Um, you'll find uh, exorcisms, uh, creepy voodoo dolls, strange twins, um, all of the things that we grew up with and all of the tropes uh, of the haunted house that we're also familiar with that also serve to represent certain parts of our psyche. So it's just like tarot, um, as tarot reflects our own psyche back to us, so do the movies, the films, the plays and the entertainment that we ingest um, reflect ourselves as well. So with that, I'm going to end this video uh, and I will see you in the next one, which is going to explain the major arcana. Thank you.